Whoa. So anyway, been out working on videos, hiking. Just came from that way across the sand dunes and I am tired. Got a short walk back to the car, but uh, thought we'd do a vlog. I don't know how it'll be any different from the most recent videos I do, but just worked on a video for the proper, by proper, the manufacturer. Um, soft shell jacket, really nice, very warm. It's really windy today, so I threw on my rain jacket as a windbreaker and together they work, oh, they work out well. So, yeah. I'm on the ground, I got some water over there. This was all flooded uh, a week, two weeks ago. And the water's obviously going down. So I wanted to quickly, hopefully you can see me, like between the sun and the snow, like I can't see my LCD, it just looks all blown out. If this, if you're watching this, evidently I felt it was worthy of sharing. It didn't look too bad. That's kind of picturesque over there. The water, the rocks. Ah, it's really nice here. I love coming here. So, I wanted to quickly discuss Instagram. Let's talk about Instagram. I know a lot of you that follow me on my YouTube channel, uh, many of you are over on Instagram with me and, uh, and I'm, I'm happy. I really like that. I appreciate you stopping over saying hi or giving me a follow. But as you know, I'm really active on Instagram. I enjoy it. It's a great way to uh, connect with people and share other people's photos, people like-minded people. People that have the same interest in, in gear or, or so on. Ah, it's all mud. Crap. I did not wear my snow gaiters, so... My shoes, my boots are actually a little bit wet. I went in water earlier over there that was a little deeper than what I anticipated, but... Instagram. Yeah, I really like Instagram, I do. But I have some problems with Instagram. I cannot tell you the number of people that contact me on Instagram who want to share, send and receive naked photos. Naked photos. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Look, you know, evidently they don't know who I am or what I look like, but you don't want to see me naked. It's just between you and I, you don't want to see me naked, I'm telling you. It's not attractive. Now, I understand. The vast majority of them are scams, right? They're looking for some old lonely sap who, you know, is bored and wants to get sent photos, you know, receive photos of, you know, a good looking woman or hot chick, whatever, whatever's your cup of tea. But the funny thing is that I've actually been contacted by men too, asking me, sorry for the language, but a dick pic for a dick pic. Literally, hey, hi. Dick pic for dick pic? Question mark. I'm like, uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, like, I can't say no enough, right? I literally block a dozen people a day now. It's getting tiring. It really is. I don't know when I'm going to release this video. But you'll probably notice the last couple days, today's Friday, yeah, last couple days, I didn't really post anything. I needed a little bit of break. And I got so many messages from people or someone, I just, I shut down my account temporarily. I'm gonna open it again. I guess I just needed a break and 
just staying off of it wasn't enough because my phone's constantly going off with people sending me messages. Messages from people you want to talk, but just whatever. You don't just talk, hey, how you doing, what's going on, or talk about gear. I get a lot of that. Hey, that knife you posted, who who does that? I don't know why they don't just read the description in the in the picture, but believe it or not, a lot of people don't. I can't tell you how many people commented on a picture that I sent. Well, I really like that. What's the cost of that? Or or uh, where can I get one of those? Or, you know, and I usually just at whoever made it or the original poster, right? Of that particular picture that of that knife or that Jeep or whatever. But I can't believe the number of people who don't read the descriptions under the photo. That would explain everything, <laughs> everything. But anyway, cause I always do that. I always copy and paste I never change what people write under their photos, the photos that I share. But, and I'm very much involved in politics. Excuse me, oh my God, or interested in politics. Ah. But I don't post that kind of stuff, right? Stuff that really is, I don't want to debate people. Not on Instagram, you know, face to face, you want to discuss stuff, you know, bring facts and statistics and we can have a talk. Don't bring feelings when it comes to guns, politics, religion, stuff like that. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to discuss that. Relationships of all kinds, we'll talk about feelings, right? When it comes to that other stuff, bring me Facts, that's it, that's all I wanna know. And if you don't have it, I wanna discuss it. And even if you do have facts, Instagram is not the place to sit and talk about that stuff. I just don't wanna do that. I don't wanna debate somebody on religion, politics, and or guns on Instagram. I mean, really, come on. There's my car over there. But I wanna take a walk through the snow with my already wet feet and get a look over the, the sand dune here. Uh, my nose is running like crazy. All right, I don't want to fall down, so I'm gonna stop here and Huh? Is that not gorgeous? Those of you that, are, that know, on the other side, up in those trees, that's where I was gonna put camp number two or move camp number one. That didn't work out. Camp number one is over there, up on that ridge. Don't know if you can see that, I can't see anything. Yeah, I, I really like it here. I, I love it here, I really do. So, the other thing is, like, I, I do follow political channels on, uh, on Instagram. And it amazes me the number of people, and I do follow quite a few, uh, gun rights channels. Ooh, I'm tired. And uh, all kinds of stuff, right? Stuff that you don't see on my channel. Instagram account, but I do follow channels that do share that kind of stuff. And I very rarely say anything. I never, you know, but if somebody posts something or if there's a channel that I come across I don't like, guess what? I don't follow you. It's that simple. I look, if I like what you do, what you say, what your thing is all about, then I'll give you a follow. If I don't, I don't follow you and then argue with you every time you post something, either be religion, anti-gun, uh, anti-religion, anti-gun, you know, po political stuff, right? And, th and that's kind of where I'm going with all this. Like, that's what I, I don't understand. Because I've looked enough to start seeing the same people, the same few people, right? And they just have nothing but bad to say and to argue stuff. 
and I've never written them, and I'm not going to, but I think to myself, I, I like want to write them and say, why do you follow this channel? I, you know? I want to write and say, I, dude, or girl, whatever, I've seen you many times commenting. You never have anything nice to say. What You hate the person, because I've seen you write that. Why do you follow this? I mean, do you not have anything else to do? Honestly, look, I, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm there a lot. You know, you know I post a lot. And if somebody writes to me, almost always good, I, I try to respond. The same thing on my YouTube channel. Um, I get haters once in a while on Instagram, but very rarely. Like, how are you going to argue with me about a Jeep, right? Because you know I like Jeeps. I post a lot of Jeeps from uh, Starwood Motors down in Texas. Like, what are you going to argue with me about a Jeep? What, they're powerful? What, what they can drive over almost anything? Uh, what, they look good when you accessorize? I mean, what are you going to argue with me, right? But I don't understand why people follow, I guess it's sort of a... What's the word? Rhetorical question. Like, I know the answer, but I'm still just making conversation. I don't know why people follow channels that they don't like, that they don't agree with the philosophy or what is said or posted on a particular channel. Hey, I have an idea. Don't follow the channel. Like, I have enough to do following channels that I do like. I... I have a hard enough time following the channels or the people that I do like, or when I have a little three-year-old climbing all over me, let alone a three and a five-year-old, to take the time and leave a comment, which I really try to do, but I don't always get to. Never mind following channels I don't like. Look, who does that? <laughs> what do you do in life that you have the time to follow channels you don't like? And say comment all day, unless you're 12 and you live in your mother's basement, or you're 21 and you live in your mother's basement. You know, you don't have a job, then I can see it, but I guess I just assume everybody doesn't and has jobs. Anyway, <laughs> I get enough comments that I want to reply to. I get plenty enough, uh, there's plenty enough channels I really like that I want to follow. And I love Instagram, it really is great. Um, I don't like the messages, I get way too many DMs, private messages. 99% of them. I think uh, I heard a snowmobile. 99% of them is stuff that I'm not interested in. I don't want to see you naked. I know you don't want to see me <laughs> naked. Um, yeah. When you get the ones, and once in a while I'll get one from a woman, and I'll click, I'll, I'll touch their name, or their, their, their icon, their avatar, their picture, and you look over, it's the same thing all the time, right? A woman, six to nine photos. It's always six to nine photos. No more than six to nine photos. And they have a crap load of people they're following. <coughs> Sorry. And a quarter of the people they're following are following them. Tell me that's not a channel that's just out to scam you somehow, some way. I block. I block everybody. I, I, I'm the block master now. I will block you, you know. You want to have a conversation, you want to talk about gay, you want to talk about anything interesting. What's, it doesn't have to be gay or Jeeps or Subarus. I love Subarus. Uh, you know. Anything. You want to talk about it. I, I'm, I'm gay and it's cool. It's fine to me. But I'm not sending naked photos. I'm not going to click on your link to look at more naked photos, I'm not stupid, but it works, cause it works. They do it, people do it, guys mostly click on those links. Oh, she loves me long time. Nah, it doesn't work like that, my friend, come on. You know, look at her, really, really? Look at her, 
she's gonna contact you and say, hey, I like you, you know, you're, you're pretty nice, and I wanna get to know you more. Come on. I'm not saying you're not worthy, guys, that are why. I'm not saying you're not worthy of that, but really, you know? And I say this because I have a very good friend of mine who is 63, who has, who has fallen for those phishing emails more times than I can count. He's not on Instagram, but he's really active on uh, Facebook. And he keeps talking and losing and talking and losing and talking and losing more and more money. I told him, no offense, they're not interested in you. And he keeps doing it. He, oh my God. Anyway, so that's my rant. I love Instagram. Uh, I need a break though, I do. Yeah, I do. And uh, anyway. We'll talk soon, everybody, okay? No dick pics for dick pics. <laughs> okay? All right, we'll talk soon. Bye.